In this lecture, we will learn how to define the reinforcement bar sizes. To define them, we need to go to define section property. Here you will find an option to select the reinforcing bar sizes. Left click on this option. Reinforcing bar sizes window will open, showing all the available reinforcement bars. Right now, if you will see carefully, on the left is bar ID that is from number 2 to number 18. After that it's bar area and after that it is bar diameter in mm. So right now the reinforcement bar set that is active is US customary. To select the other alternative, we need to go to add common bar set. Here select common rebar set window will open. Under this window there are five different options that is US customary. SI, Canadian, US soft metric and Australian. For example, let us take a case where we have to define the Australian reinforcement bar sizes. We just need to left click on Australian, left click again on OK. Now you will find that with the US customary bar set, Australian rebar sizes are also now imported. That is from N12 to N36. After bar ID, you will find that there is a bar area option. That is, for example, for N16, bar area is 2 cm square and bar diameter is 16 mm. Again, we can add another bar set. For example, if you want to add SI, left click on SI, left click again on OK. You will find that SI reinforcement bar sizes are now imported. So now under reinforcing bar sizes window, we have US customary bar set. After that we have Australian bar set and third we have SI bar set. Let us take a case where we have to delete all these reinforcement bar sizes and just have to restart again. We just need to left click on clear all bars. Again, if we have to add reinforcement bar sizes, we just need to left click again on add common bar set. We just need to left click again on for example SI, again left click on OK and then again left click on OK to select the reinforcement bar sizes.